Hello all, Sakomoto uh, and uh, good day. So today we are going to um, learn about the stack in the uh, subject for the uh, BKC3453 microprocessor. So direct to the uh, definitions of the stack is uh, an area in the memory which is under the RAM reserved for the reading and writing special or temporary data items such as written addresses and register values okay so this is an area where you can uh, save information or data which is located inside your RAM so if you can go to your easy 68k you just want to go try to look at the uh, Example. So uh, the stack point, the stack area will be at this area, which is uh, starting from this area. You can go to your RAM location to this address. So this is the address here, which is pointing to this one. So the location is located at the end of your RAM. So if you want to draw your RAM here, like this for example, right, for your, this is your memory. So normally when we draw the uh, uh, locations on this, it will be like this. Uh, sorry for this one. This is your memory location. Starting here is uh, 000000, 000, 000. And the last one here is a dollar sign is FFF. FFF. So what I can say is that your stack area will start from here. The location will be here and going to be moved upwards, right? Okay. All right. So the stack is for you to save data. Uh, another thing is what the system will do is going to reserve the written address so this, this is going to be uh, stated later so we are going to learn about this writing special or temporary data items okay the operation for stack okay stack is the area and normally you can see that another terms is the uh, stack pointer stack pointer is at E7 remember that for your easy 68k so the stack pointer is a7 which is your address register number 7 which is pointing to this address this address again is over here this is the address 1 million this is 1 million so the address for the stack pointer is, is this one so what does it mean of stack pointer stack pointer means is the address point to the stack so this is the uh, locations where you're going to save your values your data at the stack pointer at the stack area sorry so um, the operation that for the uh, uh, stack it, there are two of them which is they call it push and another one they call it pop very easy well you can uh, just imagine that when you want to push data is actually you are going to save data to the stack area they call it push and once you want to read back the values or taking out the values from the stack area you are going to do the pop operation okay 
so the commands will be different and you can see that for the command to push is to move something to the stack pointer area over here and another one is over here and another one is a move dot stack pointer this is this is where you want to take the data address and this is your location all right so we're going to learn about this one this is how to push and this is how to pop okay next one so this is your memory address just now when I when I show you just now this is normally don't normally starting with a zero 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 and this one is a dollar sign is F F F F F F F so your stack pointer will pointing to this location one million this is a where your stack pointer starts to point and once you want to push the data it will start to save over here and then save over here, save over here, and then save over here, and forward up to you. Okay, the address of the last data item placed in the stack pointer is pointed by the stack pointer. So initially, the value for the stack pointer is this one. So after you push any data, so the stack pointer will be moved to here. For example, if you already put this for data for uh, 32 bits of data over here so the stack pointer now going to point over here so you have to minus this value up to this value okay so later we're going to look at the example so the stack pointer is going to be updated every time you do the push and pop operation it will be always change there will be changing on the value over here because you are playing with the values in the stack okay now again this is the address register a7 is used as a main stack pointer when programming in assembly we can use stack pointer this is a command as an alias for a7 so you can just call sp which is equivalent to a7 so this is your stack pointer diagram just now okay let's move forward the operation is very simple this is, for example, your stack. The area just now at the memory at the last one just now is this it's an empty stack. This is like we just uh, draw only one single uh, stack like this. Okay. Once you want to push a data, it will start to push a data going in. And if you want to push another data, it will going to start to push on top of the last data. So this is, they call it uh, last in, first out as if you want to call back the data the top one must go out first then you can get the second one for this example that you you have this uh, data a and then you put b and then later you take out b and then you put c so no matter what if you do not take out this one it will stay there forever okay that's what they call it last in first out so whatever last already push here is going to be the first one going to be out so uh, this is like for example if you want to uh, put a plate plate you stacking up the plate so the first plate you have to take is this one you can take this one so one by one you take them then you finally can get the last one okay that's the process of uh, stack saving the values in the stack okay so same like this one, this is like you want to see, this is data A and C and D. Whatever it is, the last one will go up first. Okay. So the importance of the stack is uh, basically to do two things. Whether for the subroutine and interrupt. And also to save data. Save your data over there. Okay. Okay, next one. The stack grows upward. What does it mean that the stack grows upward towards the low address? This is a, the stack grow upwards towards the low address when it, items are pushed on top of the stack. So whenever things, whenever time you want to push any data, 
so for example here this is the last stack here right this is a dollar sign f f f f f f f f this is the location so when you want to put this the stack pointer now is pointing over here when you want to push over here now your stack pointer is going to be here so this is going to be a lower address going up will be lower address and going down will be the higher address remember that the normal the normal the initial value for the memory location is 0, 0, 0. So it means that from the bottom to top, you are going to have a low address when you push the top, the, the items to the stack. The stack pointer always point to the items on the stack. Okay, so it's going to be point on the stack. This is going to, the last item, you are going to look at it. So when an item is pushed, this is when you put the data inside the stack, the stack pointer is decreased. Where for example that this is the, the first initial, sorry, the, the initial uh, stack pointer will be dollar sign one thousand one million. So the stack pointer is this decreased by two or four if sent a written address then it will decrease by 4 to point to the consecutive memory above then the new item is added to the stack so this is example for a written address so this is for example if you want to save dot long size so you are going to decrease by 4 for byte and word you are going to decrease by 2 so now is this for example this is 1 million one million minus by 4 so you can to look at the result here is f f f f f c so this is the result that you want to see this is the latest stack pointer after the operation okay so this is when the push so decrease so for the pop operation is with the vice versa where the items on the top is copied to the destination then the stack pointer is increased just now it's decreased right now it's increased to the point to the consecutive memory below okay so let's look at the example on the uh, process how it works so this is the common you can see that just now is SP stack pointer. So what happened when the instruction executed default stack pointer value is at one million? So this is a command to move or to move that long from the data value D1 to stack pointer here. So this is minus minus going to be pushed inside the stack pointer here. So this is a long of size. So this is your memory locations here. This is your physical memory for the RAM. And your step pointer is pointing to this one. Okay, same like A or A7. So the address must be an even address. Okay, so this is must be an even. It cannot be uh it cannot be a um, odd address over here. So you can look at this command first. So we are going to take Okay. Look, you can look at the example here. So the first one. So I remove this one. I remove this one. So the command now is uh, I have the data at D0. So this is how you move to D0. Then I want to move this data to your stack pointer. It's also to the stack area by using this stack pointer. Move D0 to this area location. SP is the locations of A7, which is this is a bracket, it's going to be 1 million. Just now, this is by default. So, look at the execution now. So, your stack now is 1 million. Look at the value here for the 1 million, still all by default is FFFF. So, looks Look what happened when you execute the command. This is the command to move the long the value to D0, which is you can see that D0 is containing these values. So this command is move dot long, which is a long size. 
d0 d0 here to the stack area by using the stack pointer location which is a7 here 1 million so we are going to expect the value here will be copied to your stack here now look at this area run this one now you can see that 11223344 is already saved in your stack area this is a long size word so you have to decrease your stack pointer to 4 now you look at your stack pointer now change to the latest value which is FFFFC which is this one so I repeat this now this is 1 million 1 2 3 minus 4 so now the latest stack pointer is FFFFFC so let's try another example I'm going to move dot W instead of long just now so again we run this command so the first command is to put this D0 contents now it's move dot W D0 to the stack now your stack still empty let's run it you only can see word size 3344 is saved to the stack over here okay now you look at the stack pointer just now it's 1 million this is now FFFFE which is pointing to the latest one here so now look at how it works it's 1 million just now minus 2 which is decreased by 2 then you get the get the result of FF FFE which is this one so it's the same thing what is going to be uh, uh, what is uh, actually stated in the in this in the slides where when the item is safe or push or pop or sorry is is push the stack pointer will be decreased by 2 or 4 if uh, if you're going to say this one and if you send a written address then it will be decreased by four also to the point to this continuity memory so there are two things over here the first one is to when item is push and the second one is when you have the written address is going to be minus four two so again let's try for byte size instead of dub instead of w so what happened now execute it so look at your memory over here this is d0 look at the stack pointer here still fff ffe and the byte size is actually safe to this location instead of here it's now now you, now your your stack is pointing the stack pointer is pointing to these locations before you want to add more okay let's try again the example so go back to this one w i don't want to confuse you guys with, with byte so we have another item going to be pushed so remember that this is a lifo operation Life for operation means you have to go in uh, later if you want to take out you have to take out the first one so I'm going to put very make, make it easier so we have to go for long one first so this is D2 so we have two times uh, push the data so look at the results over here Okay, so you have D0 contents is this one, then you have D2 content is this one, and now the command is move.long D0 to the stack by using stack pointer location. This is 1 million. So you're going to move D0 to the locations. Now you see this is already here, and your stack pointer now is pointing to this one. This is the latest stack pointer location. 
Now you want to push another values means that you're going to put from here to the above area over here means that now your stack pointer will be changing again because it's going to be updated every time you push and pop so now you put again d2 to the stack pointer this d2 is this one you can see that now it's going to be d d c c a a b and your stack pointer now is pointing to f f f f f a pointing to here so again you can see that the first operation is 1 million minus 4 decrease and minus 4 again which is the second one so this is the value f f f f 8 for your stack point over here so it will be uh, the same process again if you want to stack more data to your stack as, uh, as long as you do not take it out and then the stack pointer will be keep on increasing that is for the push process so what happened if you want to pop pop means you can put the data out example here you want to pop out the data to move to d3 for example here so move to d3 so you're going to take the value from the stack area to D3. Let's try this one. D2, alright. Now you're pushing the value to the stack. Okay, the first one. And the second one. Now the process is to push. Sorry, the, to pop up because this is plus, plus right? This is to pop this location's area values to D3. So you're looking at D3 over here. Now it's move.long, the whole thing to D3. So I'm expecting to have A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D go to D3. And your stack pointer will be increased back to the locate to the another location because it's a pop operation. So the long will be increased by 4. Let's try. You can see that A, A, B, B, C, C is copied to D3. And your stack pointer now is F, F, F. FFC. So to prove that one just now, this is FFF8 plus 4. And the result, sorry. FFFF, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 4. Eh, sorry, is it plus 4? Let's try this one first. Just now, FFE. Let's try again this one. I will I run again the, the program. So now is a uh, view the memory here here. This is the first one. Okay, now your pointer is FFFC is correct. So now it's a uh, one million minus 4 which is a FSC then another command and then another command you put another values which is a long word so not just FFC just now FFF FFC minus another 4 Is it four? Yeah, correct. F F F F F eight. Okay. So the common next one is move dot long. Put the value from the stack to D three. So you need to copy whole long word here to D three. So you're going to plus four again. So F F F eight plus four. F F F F F eight plus four. So this is the latest one. Look at the value for the stack. 
you run this one, you can see that the latest for the stack pointer is this one, FFF, FFC, which is correct. Now it's pointing to this one. Okay, let's try to look at the another example. Let's try we try to play around with word size. So instead of uh, taking out long word, we are going to take only W. Okay, so let's try. And you can try over here uh, the command. This is uh, the same one, D0, putting D2. Now push this value to the stack pointer, stack area, sorry. This is the value. Now another move dot long D2 to the stack area. You have this one. Now pop back the value to D3. So this is actually only W with size from the stack to D3. So which one are you going to take? Word size mean you have to stick from here because the stack pointer is pointing to this one, which is FFF8 pointing to this one. So it's going to be AA and BB going to copy to D3. AA and BB copy to D3 and your pointer now is FFF, FFA. How does it work? Because now it's only word size. So the last uh, stack pointer just now is pointing to FFFF8. So let's try uh, hexa. So FFFFF8 just now. You have to plus 2 because this is word size. Plus 2. Then you can get this answer FFFFF8. So you have to know that even though you pop back the values from the stack area, the contents of the stack is not going to be erased unless you replace it with a new content. You can see that AABB is still there, which is just like copy over here. So if you want to erase this, you have to put a new values, for example. So let's try now. Now you are already now you push back the value move dot w d zero to sp okay so this is how you move this one let's try. Okay, let's try here. This one, okay. This one, okay. So move dot long d zero to the stack area. This is the same thing, correct? So d two to stack area again. So d two going to the stack again. And then this is the command to pop the value in terms of word size to d three. So word means only four, which is a a and b b. Go to d three. Now the last one is to move which is to push back the values at D0 to SP, to the stack area, by only word size. So right now your stack pointer is FFFFA. So if you want to push the data, then means that you are going to decrease it by, this is W by 2. So this is going to be decreased by 2. So you look at here, AABB, what happened? 3344 will be replaced because it's taking the value from D0 to the stack by using this stack pointer value just now, which is FFFFA. So you plus 2 because this is word size. FFA plus 2, sorry, minus 2. Minus 2. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Minus two. Is it minus two? Sorry, sorry, eight just now. Sorry, sorry. So this is the latest stack values, stack pointer values. This one. 
So every time you play with the uh, push and op pop operation, the value will be saved in your stack area and your stack pointer will be keep on updating as you uh, have the executions for the push and pop operations. Remember that when you put the long word size, your stack pointer will be decreased up to 4 or increased up to 4 and if you want to put push and pop for the uh, operations for the long word size or the word, long word size is going to be 4 and your word and byte size will be only 2 so the operations will be like that, will be like that. you have your contents will be stick to the stack area unless you want to change it you have to push a new value to the stack area okay so remember that uh, the stack is a place for you to save data and uh, for the written address i'm going to uh, show you guys in the next video okay so this is the operation okay uh, see you guys later thank you very much